Gator Maniacs, guess who's back? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time, and uh, I do apologize. I just have, you know, a lot of things, a lot of new things going on in life that I'm having trouble balancing. But um, tonight, you know, I just wanted to talk about something that, you know, you know, something that was uplifting for me, something that's exciting. As always, whenever there's something I feel that's exciting, I want to share it with you guys, give you my opinion, and just, you know, kind of shoot the breeze with you a little bit about it. So, today's video isn't anything game related, as you can probably tell. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble for that. But uh, <laughs> tonight um, was the premiere of Quantum Leap. Um, it's not a reboot. It's a continuation. If you don't know what Quantum Leap is, um, it's kind of like a, a, a time travel story. A guy who, you know, invented this uh, science experiment to where he can travel through time, leap into people's bodies, and kind of change history, fix what was wrong into right. I know I got that phrase kind of wrong, but anyway. Um, it, it was a TV show that came on when I was a kid that I loved. And I still watch the original Quantum Leap today. I still watch the original episodes today. And um, I got so excited earlier this year when I discovered that they were gonna bring the show back. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. They're gonna bring the show back, man. Uh, you know, Scott Bakula, Dean Stockwell. Wait, 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 hold up. They're not gonna be in this show. It's gonna be a new cast. And I was thinking, well, Okay, it's a new cast, so you're, are you rebooting it? But no, it's not a reboot, it's a continuation. So this video, I just want to give you my opinion. Um, like I said, I used to, I love the original show. You know, the concept of time travel and changing history for the better, for people, for families, and things like that. I, I thought it was an amazing concept. So NBC, you know, they took the chance of bringing... The, the series back and as we all know if you watch a lot of television when you have something that's great in the past and you try to bring it back for today's audience for the most part it, it's not going to work out well I mean yeah you do have some successes some it does work for some TV shows and movies but it's extremely risky and thank you NBC for uh, you know giving this a shot you know, I, I saw tonight's episode, and it, it was pretty good overall. This video isn't a review. I'm just giving you my opinion on, uh, you know, what I saw and, you know, kind of what I hope for going forward. Um, of course, you know, with every opinion, there's good and bad. And this is just my opinion. I'm not trying to down anybody. I'm not trying to shoot anybody down. I'm not trying to, you know... Because I'm pretty sure the people at Universal NBC, they work very hard on this project. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I, I, they nailed a lot of stuff. They nailed a lot of things. And, um, well, yeah, let, let me get into it real quick. I'm, I'm not going to take a lot of time with this because um, I have to wake up extremely early in the morning. But, um, okay, let, let's get into, like I say, there's good and bad. Let's get the kind of the bad stuff out of the way, the things that I don't quite understand. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but, you know, just things I don't understand. Number one, you debuted this show on a Monday night. Oh, this, okay, when I discovered it was coming on on a Monday night, the first thing that came to mind is you're debuting this show, something that you put a lot of money and time in, you're debuting this show against Monday Night Football. And you know I'm a wrestling fan. You're also debuting this show against Monday Night Raw. Oh my God. Why would you do that? What were you thinking? Why would you do that? You, <laughs> you, got, you got Monday Night Football. You got Monday Night Raw. You're going to debut this show that a lot of us have been waiting for against those two juggernauts. I'm thinking, I'm watching the show and I'm like, I'm thinking, NBC, do you really, really want this to work? Why would you debut this against those two main attractions on Monday nights? 
I don't understand that. That, does, that doesn't make sense to me. But hey, that's just me. All right, that's just me. That okay, that's my biggest gripe about this. You could have done this, you know, on a Thursday night. You could have done this on a, you know, maybe I was gonna say I was gonna say Sunday, but you know, you got all the football on Sunday. You got some football on Thursday too, but you know, a Tuesday night, something where there wasn't a lot of major sports things that people are getting into. I mean, you you, you want the biggest audience you can get to watch this, but hey, you know. Corporate decision. I, I I don't work for NBC. I, I I just don't get that. Okay, I don't get it. Um. Let's see. Like I said, that's that's probably the only bad thing I gotta say about this. The show. I don't know if it, this is considered to be a bad thing, but the show kind of gave me vibes of another show that they tried to bring back. I want to say back in two thousand eight. That was near and dear to my heart. I was very young. And I, and I still watch episodes of this show today from when I was a kid. It kind of gave me Knight Rider reboot vibes. That, I, I, I should have Googled it, but I want to say back in 2008, NBC, uh, they brought back Knight Rider. First episode, where they did like a, I want to say a two or three hour pilot movie episode kind of thing. And I thought, okay, yeah, it's cool. All right. First episode, first two episodes were... Okay, it's still cool. By episode three, episode four, I started to kind of taper off of it a little bit. You know, the excitement just, I don't know, it kind of fizzled a little bit. Now, we're only in episode one of, of this show here, Quantum Leap. We're only in episode one. And the first episode was pretty good. Ben Song, the main character in this show, he, he really gives you Dr. Sam Beckett vibes. He really does. Because there, there's so many likenesses. But at the same time, you know, he's his own person. You know, he, he he takes care of things almost exactly the way Sam does. And that's because, you know, Sam had his partner, Al, just like Ben has his partner in the TV show. <clears throat> so, you know, it, it feels like a reboot. But like I said, it's a, continu it's a continuation. But there are so many similarities between the original show and this one if i were to present this show to you to someone who didn't even know the show was happening and i took some scenes out of it some like little details out of it you would think it's, a, it's just a, a reboot you would think it was but there are some things in this show that shows you that okay yeah this is a continuation um sam beckett and al did not make a physical appearance in this tv show of course uh, there's rumors swirling around that they declined that um, Dean Stockwell, well, he passed away, you know, rest in peace. But um, I can't call his name. Um, Scott Bakula, he declined to be a part of this project. I really hope that's not true. Like I said, it's a rumor. I hope that's not true because any Quantum Leap fan like myself, Scott Bakula, you, you got to make an appearance in here somewhere. In this episode, episode one, we saw a picture of him, or like a little hologram picture of him. And uh, we saw like a picture of uh, Al, Dean Stockwell, on a tablet towards the end of the episode. But no, Scott Bakula, please, you have to make an appearance on this TV show. You, you have to show up. Please, we have to bring Sam home. Like, that, that, you, know, <laughs> that, you know, that's what the whole original show was about. And they mentioned that so many times in this show, too. So, you know, of course, uh, just like in every episode of a, of a show like this, there's a lot of mystery involved. There's a lot of, you know, things that are being put in place to where, um, you know, you'll get the answers later on in the season and things like that. So you, there, there's some cliffhanger stuff in here. And just like at the end of every Quantum Leap episode, um, you know, the, the main character, he leaps, he successfully com you know, completes his mission. He leaps out of, you know, the person's body into someone else's body. And, you know, it sets up for the next episode. But, like I said, uh, there are so many similarities to the original show. To the point where, you know, you, you kind of feel like it is a reboot. But, you know, it is a continuation. But with that being said, Dr. Sam Beckett, man, you, you gotta, you, you have to be a part of this. You have to physically be a part of this. We need that closure. 
I need that closure. I need to know Sam is finally coming home. I need to know that. I need to see that. But I have high expectations for this show. I really, really do. And once again, I want to thank you, NBC, for, you know, giving this a try. I still don't understand why you did this on a Monday night. But <laughs> but uh, episode one was, was pretty decent. Episode one was pretty decent. My boy Ernie Hudson, my favorite ghost, not my favorite Ghostbuster, but one of my favorite Ghostbusters, Ernie Hudson has a role in this show. And just seeing him on screen, I wish I had a picture of, you know, all my pictures are in the living room. He reminds me so much of my father. He, he looks like my father, you know. He, just seeing Ernie Hudson, you know, just reminds me of my dad. And it kind of tears me up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, Ernie Hudson, Winston Zedmore, Ghostbusters is in this show. Um... But I have high expectations. If I were to rate this episode, even though this is not a review, I would give it I would give it a 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10. Um, it did have some good action. It did uh, have a little bit of, you know, Sam getting all science-y and stuff like that. Because after, after all, he is a scientist. So, you know, he has to do that. Do some kind of things like that. But NBC, uh, once again, thank you for giving this a shot. I, I'm going to do my best to support it in every way, shape, or form. Um, but, but I got to keep it real, though. I got to keep it real. I just, I want this show to be successful. I want there to be a, a season two, season three, season four. I want this to continue until we bring Sam home and even Ben home. Let's, let's you know, let's just, we need that closure. I need that closure. But episode one was was good. I'm 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 interested in episode two. But I, I really hope that you know this thing really holds up. Like you know, oh Monday night, why did you do that? <laughs> but, but anyway, y'all, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video, and I just want to you know share something that you know I watched this evening and I thought it was cool, and maybe you know you'll you'll give it a try. It's on NBC Monday nights. Uh, here on the west on the east coast is at 10 p.m. But 9 p.m. Central Time Quantum Leap. Hey, I liked it. So give it a shot. All right If you like the original Quantum Leap series I'm pretty sure you like this episode too. So hey, thanks for watching Gator loves you Thanks for coming back. If this is your first time hit that sub button notification bell and uh, See you on, the ch on this channel again soon. All right. Love y'all. Catch you later. Thanks.